Um, all right. So later on in the day, uh, our good friend, Dr. David Phelps did a presentation on uh, how to couple your branding with lead generation uh, to exponentially add uh, a, a, a legacy uh, to your business. Um, and, you know, how much is too much and what do you do with it later? <laughs> that, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But David's team does a great job of targeting their avatar um, and then taking them through uh, that pipeline, if you will, and um, turning them into raving fans before they even agree to join. And I tell you, David has a, a mastermind and uh, the mastermind is uh, private practice professionals. Mm -hmm. And they have to pay uh, a pretty penny to get into his group. And uh, the, the way they have put their marketing together to create that tribe. And uh, you and I learned this uh, when we were uh, down at uh, Roy Williams um, in, in Austin, Texas, a, a few years ago. Yeah, the Wizard Academy. Yeah, it it's not about being the cheapest, uh, and I don't want to say the cheapest, being the least expensive, having the most marketing, your brand should be something that, uh, that, that connects you with others. And, yeah. uh, your story, when we go back to uh, creating your narrative, it's all about that branding. Your branding is, is your story. Well, and, to take it, you know, like, I think a lot of people, they understand like, like finding out who's your avatar. Right. But I think that what sets David um, apart from a lot of other people is he doesn't not, he not, he not only knows who his avatar is, he deeply understands them, sure. what makes them tick. Um, so. Well, that's true because he yeah. used to be. In he their used to be a, a dentist, but that, that like, that's what I, I guess I wanted to, to build on that. I was like, un, knowing who your avatar is, great. But understanding them, that's how you build a brand because you understand their needs, their wants, their desires, what motivates them, what demotivates them. Um, so you really have to get granular into all those aspects of your avatar. Well, yes. And, and how do you, what's the easiest way to get avatars you understand. Ones uh, that are hey, like you. That, that Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is where your story comes in. You tell your story, you'd be shocked at how many people have similar backgrounds and believe in similar things. So do not try to be everything to everyone. Be who you are and you will attract uh, plenty of people that are just like you that will be raving fans because um, they they trust you, they like you because uh, they are like you. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. it's amazing how that works. Oh yeah, uh, I mean it's it's I mean even the differences between you and me, Bill. There are people who really really you know are drawn to you because you have more the, the feels and the, you know, the emotional uh, intelligence and they think I'm a crook <laughs> because, yeah. because I don't, I don't, I don't have that, but I have people who are more. Yeah. Um, but you have, you have mechanical. people that are, are very analytical. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say, uh, and, and I'm not, I'm not trying to pigeonhole people, but f folks that uh, are more uh, engineer type personalities, right? Yeah. They're going to draw more to you than they are to me because I'm, I'm kind of a, a big picture, touchy feely guy. You're the guy that is yeah. all about the data. And yeah. I, I so that's, me. that's why it's also important. We, even when you create your avatar, you want to know, you know, you have, you have the, the face of the company, whatever, or the, whatever you're doing, who is talking to your avatar is very important. If, if we're creating an, an avatar that is attracted to bill, having me talk to them is not the best, <laughs> the best idea. <laughs>